Hello, welcome viewers to Elimu TV, whereby we are going to interact and we learn and also experience together. We are going to have our biology form 1, lesson 16, whereby our topic will be nutrition in plants and animals. Under the subtopic, first we are going to do an introduction in, um, in the nutrition in plants and animals as the topic is very broad. Your um, tutor will be Mr. Gerard, let us uh, begin and uh, we enjoy the lesson. Welcome. Uh, we're going to have lesson goals whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be able to state the meaning of nutrition and differentiate um, the various modes of feeding. Um, we're going to do the introduction part of, um, part of the nutrition in plants and animals uh, and that intro uh, introduction you are going to do with definition of uh, various terms such that when you are, are continuing with the topic, we shall be able to understand it and every uh, terminology. So all living things, uh, organisms, all living organisms require food to sustain life. Food enables organisms to carry out metabolic activities such as respiration, growth and the repair of worn out tissues. The process by which organisms obtain and utilize nutrients is referred to as nutrition. So as you can see, so nutrition is the process by which organisms acquire and utilize nutrients. Organisms obtain food in different ways and these are referred to as modes of nutrition. Modes of nutrition differ depending on the type of the organism. Autotrophs and heterotrophs are the main modes of nutrition in organisms. So as you can see, we have a different, uh, we have two types of, uh, that is modes of nutrition. Where, um, one is autotrophism and the other one is heterotrophism. Autotrophism is a mode of nutrition in which the living organisms manufactures its own complex food substances from simple substances. These simple substances are carbon dioxide water, light, or chemical energy. The symbol substances are obtained from the immediate environment. Living organisms that make their own food as are known as autotrophs. So in our environment, our autotrophs are the, they are the plants. Uh, we have also heterotrophism, whereby these are the living organisms depend on already manufactured food, whereby we have the examples of the animals, the fungi, the bacteria, etc. So <coughs> in other terms, we are saying, Heterotrophism is a mode of nutrition that involves taking in of ready-made complex food materials. These complex food materials are the carbohydrates, the proteins, and lipids obtained from the bodies of other living organisms. Organisms that feed on these are already synthesized foods are called heterotrophs. Examples of the heterotrophs are what we are saying are the animals, the fungi, and um, bacteria. We also have examples of the autotrophs, which are the plants, the algae, and some bacteria. So you should uh, be able to know the difference between uh, autotrophs and heterotrophs. In simple terms, we are saying autotrophs are the plants, while the heterotrophs are the animals. Um, we are going now to study about nutrition now in plants. Remember, our topic was nutrition in plants and animals, but first we are going to deal with the nutrition in plants. Whereby in plants, we have said it's nutrition, we are going to deal with the autotrophs, because uh, we have seen that plants are autotrophic. So, autotrophism is a mode of nutrition in which um, organisms manufacture food substances, such as the carbohydrates from simple inorganic molecules. Energy is required in the manufacture of food and um, how do troughs obtain this energy from either light or certain chemical reactions. Some bacteria make their own food using energy derived from chemical reactions in a process known as chemosynthesis. That is um, a process which involves uh, chemicals. So uh, plants on the other hand make their own food using other uh, energy from light in a process known as photosynthesis. Uh, the difference between chemosynthesis and uh, photosynthesis is that um, chemical, uh, um, chemosynthesis, it involves chemicals, while uh, uh, photosynthesis, it involves light. Because as we are aware that photo means light. Um, 
Photosynthesis is the process by which a plant manufactures food substances from carbon dioxide and water using um, energy from sunlight. The process of photosynthesis involves the conversion of light energy into chemical energy which is stored in food. Therefore, as a result of photosynthesis, plants manufacture food which is then uh, available to other uh, organisms. By this one, the plants are normally referred to as producers because they are uh, they produce um, food materials which is used by other uh, organisms. During the process of photosynthesis, carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, air is used. Oxygen is given out and released into the atmospheric air as a byproduct. Animals and plants use oxygen from the atmosphere for respiration. They release carbon dioxide as one of the products of respiration. This way, photosynthesis helps to maintain the level of carbon dioxide and oxygen fairly constant in the atmosphere. The process of photosynthesis occurs in plants, mainly in the leaves. Um, having done and uh, said that, we are going to look at a certain activity whereby in our activity, we have to describe photosynthesis and you explain its importance in nature. There are, diff uh, there are several importances we have seen of photosynthesis so in our activity, that is what we are going to explain. And for further reference on our topic and many others, you can uh, refer to KLB, Secondary Biology Students Book 1, which is the fourth edition, Nairobi Kenya Literature Bureau. Um, for further information, you can contact us by sending an M SMS uh, through the number that you are seeing on your screen, or through you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is at Elimu TV, or our Facebook page, which is also at Elimu TV, or you send us an SMS through our Twitter page at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. Let us uh, interact together uh, through these pages and we shall learn more. Thank you and let us meet in our next lesson. Welcome.